Hello, I'm back in Fallout 76 and today we're going to be talking about taming creatures for your base. Something to uh, have a little fun with, something to uh, put a bit of a fight for you while you're away collecting some stuff. Or something that you can just have a little bit of fun with. But I thought, well, taming it's a little bit sort of difficult to sort of get in the game and I'll get into that a little bit. But can you tame a 1, 2, 3 star enemy for your base could you really do that could you have say a three star legendary for your base now uh, i'll give you a location where you can go into and here's a couple of rules that you need to keep in mind when it comes to taming the animal must be less than half the tamer's level the animal must spawn alone and the animals must be a random spawn not tied to an event where you continually respawn so what that means that if you see a death claw if you see something like that that spawns and he's got a nest next to him or a couple of dead settlers or whatever next to him that means that's an event and you cannot tame that animal so he has to be just like this scorch yaogwai he has to be on its own nothing spawning next to him no event no nothing and here's how i went and done it so you spawn here right next to the red rocket you have a super duper marked in here the reason why you want to go inside this is because there's a couple of good uh, items for you to pick up First and foremost, there's going to be a recipe just on the left here. Uh, next, you're going to have a cap stash. Usually, it's up on that little shelf, but somebody knocked it down. Maybe me shooting a couple of super mutants. Once that's done, all you do is you go up towards the bridge. Now, the only reason why I'm doing it here is because this is the only place that I know of. Somebody might know a better place, but this is the only place that I know of that has two random events spawned within 10 meters of each other. I go into third person and I usually jump up just to see if I see something underneath the bridge. If I need to sort of go uh, stealthy or not and then I can just sort of push up up the bridge and see what's going on. So there's always going to be two events here. Sometimes there's going to be one, sometimes there's two, sometimes there's none. There's always going to be something. So this time around you can see there's a couple of Scorch coming in. Luckily for me I have both perks. You only need the animal perk to in order for you to tame as long as it's an animal you will only need animal friend to have i have wasteland whisperer as well because i wanted to tame a couple of different things and try stuff out and i'll get into that in a little bit so you can see we have two events to happen here we've got a couple of ghouls there and probably a dead settler or something i'm seeing there to the right a little bit so we'll take out the ghouls and we'll go and see what he has it probably has a little bit of loot on him which we'll take but you're always guaranteed to have something happen around here. You'll have Herky Mega Sloths, you'll have Death Claws, you'll have the Yaogwai, you'll have a couple of different things here that you will be able to tame. Once you tame it, press E and he's going to be sent to your base. He's just going to start running to your base. There's no point you really following him. Just give him 5-10 minutes and you'll get to your base. If you log out, he's going to be next to your base when you log back in. So just keep that in mind. Don't panic if you don't see him in the first couple of servers switches because like I said there's going to be quite a few events that happen here. Luckily you have two that are really close and hopefully one of them will give you what you're looking for. For me it took anywhere from 10 to 15 to find one. Now I did go and try to tame the Mothman. As it turns out that's the reason why I have the cards and Animal Friend and Wasteland Whisperer hoping that I might be able to tame the Mothman but that was a no-go I'm afraid. It would have been a really cool base to have with a Mothman defending, defending it, but as it happens, no. Then, to make it even better, I tried finding the Vengeful Mothman to try and tame him, and that was a no-go as well. So, the only thing I still have left to try is an actual Flatwoods monster, which I have not seen for quite a while, but that's the reason why I have both perks on, just to see maybe somehow I'll be able to tame him, or maybe not. But eventually, if you do that right, and like I said, you serve a hop a few times, it took me about, I don't know, 10 to 15, like I said, you will get something that's going to be pretty cool. And for me, it's this. This was higher level when I tamed him. I don't know why it's level 16 now. But is a three-star legendary Scorch Yaogwai as a champion of my base. So all those turrets, while they're good and they can make the sort of the best turrets and everything like that, it's still not going to be as good as this guy taking on a full squad of super mutants at level 48 and a random ghoul just coming in, just getting slapped. And I've got a kind of couple of ideas what I'm going to do with him. Now I haven't really built my base yet because I was waiting for a good tame. 
And now that I have a good team, I can make a base and I can sort of do a couple of things. Now, either number one would be put him next to a random event sort of spot and then just let him fight as a true champion. Just let him fight whatever comes out there. Every time you log in, you're going to have something different from Scorch to Yaogwais to Deathclaws to Herky Megasloth to whatever you're going to have, Super Mutants, he's going to be fighting them. Or I could get greedy and have one of my buddies log in and then you can kill him and get something off him. So I kind of, what do you think? Champion fights everything or get greedy and kill him and see what you get off him. That's kind of the question I have for you. So if you're looking to get a tame, that's the way to do it. That's kind of the easiest way I found to do it. There's definitely going to be a lot of other spots. But for me, that was the easiest one to get what I really wanted out of it. So hopefully this helps you out a little bit. Let me know what you think. Should I, should I really just make this guy my champion? Or should we get greedy and kill him? Hopefully you enjoy the video. And I'll see you in the next one.